Even the most seasoned investors make mistakes in the stock market. Some of these mistakes can undo years' worth of hard work. If you are not careful, these could cost you more than what you have invested. In this video, I will show you the top 7 investing mistakes to avoid in the stock market. Number 7. Trading instead of investing. Speculation and investing are two separate things. You are speculating if you are always scanning the financial media for news to direct your day trading actions. This kind of strategy is not only extremely expensive, but it is also unsustainable in the long run. Transaction costs can easily eat into your profits when you constantly hit the buy and sell buttons. This will also have negative implications on your taxes. Your profits will be subject to short-term capital gains tax, meaning anything you hold for a year or less, in this case, your trades, will be taxed at a rate of 10 to 37 percent. Whereas if you hold them longer than one year, you will only be subject to long-term capital gains tax of 0 to 20 percent. Your investments will grow more substantially if you can avoid all these fees and taxes by choosing to invest for the long term. Number 6. Not having an emergency fund before investing. Entering the markets before establishing a solid financial foundation is one deadly mistake many investors make. You should not invest money that you'll be needing in the near term. Before investing, make sure that you have the liberty to choose how you want to spend your money. Establishing an emergency fund is a key component of that, as it will prevent you from tapping into your investments when the unexpected happens. The stock market can be a roller coaster ride. If you throw all your cash reserves into it and a catastrophe strikes, you may be forced to pull out your investments, regardless if your stocks are down. You may not have the time to wait until the market has recovered, hence, you will need to sell at a loss. While there's no specific rule as to how much you should have in your emergency fund, experts recommend having three to six months worth of household expenses. This amount should be able to tide you through emergencies in your household. You may need to increase your cash reserves if you have family members relying on you. Number 5. Panicking over market drops. In the stock market, the most important organ is the stomach. It's not the brain. Peter Lynch. This is because you need to have a strong gut to handle the volatility of the stock market. You may remember the Great Recession of 2008 to 2009. The Dow Jones lost its value by 50% in less than a year. How did the majority of investors react? By panic selling. They sold at the absolute worst time when the market was at its lowest. What if they had jumped at the chance to buy? The Dow Jones Industrial Average hit its bottom in 2009 at 6,626.94. And as of September 19, 2022, it is sitting at over 30,800. The market has increased 365% since that low in 2009. Number 4. Having too little or too much diversification. While the likelihood for getting significant gains increases with little or no diversification, so does the chance for huge losses. It poses great risk to put all your capital in just a few chosen securities. Your entire portfolio might be wiped out by a single negative news about a stock or its industry. On the other hand, over-diversification can also have a negative impact on your portfolio. The primary risk of excessive diversification is that it lowers portfolio returns. While the total risk profile of your investments decreases with each additional stock added, these new additions simultaneously decrease the overall expected return on your portfolio. If you are adding more stocks to your portfolio, this would also mean that extra due diligence is required. You also need to keep in mind that investing in too many securities or mutual funds will also increase your transaction costs in the long run. Striking the right balance of diversification in your portfolio is key to reducing your risks while still maximizing your future returns. Number 3. Trying to time the market. We always hear the saying, time in the market beats timing the market. However, many people still commit this stock investing mistake, where they try their best to buy and sell at the exact right moment. 
Finding the perfect time to invest is almost impossible to do, and it may never arrive. The stock market is always volatile, and a plethora of factors can move stock prices. Earnings forecasts and reports, industry and market trends, economic conditions, and geographical and political issues can drive stock prices to go up and down. Fear can easily cause us to sell in panic when the market dips and greed causes us to jump into buying at soaring prices during exciting times. And then there are those who try to find the next Amazon or Tesla in the hopes of getting in before it takes off. Unfortunately, history proves that only a few companies are destined for success, and most of them will utterly fail. Delaying to invest can leave a huge dent on your portfolio. You may miss out on huge gains if you consistently wait for the bottom, when not even experts can predict when it will happen. Instead of wasting time trying to buy low and sell high, you can benefit from investing a certain amount regularly, regardless of what the market is doing. This is called dollar cost averaging, where you average out your cost basis by buying at regular intervals at different prices. This strategy will ensure that you keep yourself invested, as history has proven that the market will always go up, even through recessions and downturns. Number 2. Following poor advice from social media Nowadays, there is a lot of misinformation on finance and investing circulating on social media. A huge chunk of investors seek investment advice from personalities or financial gurus on platforms like TikTok and YouTube. They take investment advice from people who do not even know their personal financial situation. Case in point, you feel pressured by someone pretending to be an expert on social media to invest in a company that they claim to have huge potential. You put in your hard-earned money, and next thing you know, the stock begins to fall because a negative report came out. You are now at a loss on what to do, as you do not have a compelling reason why you invested in the company in the first place. All you did was follow a random person's advice on social media. To avoid this costly mistake, make sure to do your own due diligence and ignore the buzz on social media. If you are going to take any advice at all from someone, do a background check. Set aside some time to study their investing advice and ensure that their investment principles align with yours. Before getting into number one, kindly hit the subscribe button so you never miss out on future videos. With that said, here is number one. Giving too much credit to financial managers. Most people can easily assume that seasoned fund managers would be excellent at what they do. But research says otherwise. Evidence has shown that the S&P 500 has consistently outperformed 97% of financial professionals in the last 30 years. And according to Warren Buffett, most investors, both institutional and individual, will find that the best way to own common stocks is through an index fund that charges minimal fees. Those following this path are sure to beat the net results after fees and expenses, delivered by the great majority of investment professionals. It makes no sense to pay management fees of 3% or more to fund managers for results that underperform the market. You are essentially paying more for inferior results. These management fees will also eat into your overall returns in the long run. Make sure to watch the next video, as you will surely get a ton of value from it. Thanks and see you again.